Batteries don't like being cold. The amount of energy that a battery can deliver goes down drastically as the temperature drops. And some data suggests that a car battery can deliver no more than about 10 to 20 percent of its total capacity at temperatures of minus 30 to minus 40 degrees. Now, when you start your car, you need a very, very large amount of current from the battery to turn over the starter motor and get the engine to go. But if the battery is un unable to deliver that current, you can't turn your engine over. So that's one part of the question. The battery is just not able to deliver the current at that temperature. Now, people should realize a battery is a chemical reaction. That energy is stored in a battery in chemical compounds which when we flip the switch and allow a current to flow carry out a reaction that harnesses the electrons that are transferred from one substance to another. Chemical reactions proceed slower at lower temperatures and faster at hotter temperatures and that's why a battery cannot deliver as much current at low temperature because the chemistry of the battery is going slower at the low temperature. Okay? Now the other problem you have, and this is related to why we plug the car in, is that in your engine you have oil and you have coolant, all of which have to be moved through the engine by pumps. And of course the oil lubricates the movement of the pistons. The oil becomes very, very thick as the temperature goes down. It gets very viscous and so does the coolant. Also, as the temperature goes down, the metal parts of the engine contract. Things shrink in the cold and they may in fact contract enough that they squeeze together and don't move as easily. So at a low temperature, it takes a lot more energy to get the engine to turn over than it would at high temperature. So your starter motor has to draw more current in order to do that, but your battery is less able to deliver the current and you have trouble starting. So when we plug our cars in, what we are doing is we are running a heater that is bolted to the engine to warm the engine block. And this warms the coolant, it warms the metal, it to some extent warms the oil and makes it less viscous and easier to move. So that handles one part of the problem.